They'll be calling you a radical. Sorry, I was trying to fix this new phone. I broke my phone yesterday, the flat tire yesterday. Oh, my God, with no money. I mean, but anyway, I got to put this up. I was just listening to the game, playoff basketball in August. My friend, Donovan, who I'm friends with, from Brooklyn. God, I think about all them opportunities I had to get autographs from him, whatever. Third most points in NBA playoff game. Oh, he just passed the likes of Will Chamberlain. Elgin Baylor, I think, second. I think that was an NBA Finals game. He passed the great late John Havlicek with 54 in that 73 great playoff game. Of course, MJ, Michael Jordan, was 63. But this was some, and I, I know I'll quote Donovan Mitchell to Kevin Blanche in the New York airport before he's flying to the Jazz. And I says, you're talking to the most racist fans in the world, Donovan. You know, we had a long story. I says, you remember when they're chirping to Kevin Durant up in his face at the end of that playoff game, those Jazz fans? Oh, yeah. Don't feed the lion. So Donovan Mitchell has been so outspoken in the Black Lives Matter. And, you know, people give me a lot of shit, but Black Lives Matter was invented by the likes of Kevin Blanche in the street in 2014 on the death of a Utah girl, Donovan. White girl. It was invented. She was killed in November 2012. Remember, remember the 5th of November, Danielle Willard. That's how it started. It's an arguable fact. Look it up. Who invented the first one to use the term? Kevin Blanche was. So, I think it's irony. I know Donovan. He's the greatest. He's the shit. I also know Damien, personally, because from my days at Weber State, you know, and I really respect both of them for what they're doing as athletes, but how they step forward. I think it's irony. I saw them walk out with the Black Lives Matter shirt on. Here they are, both multi, multi-billionaires. I mean, millionaires. Coach, I mean, Donovan's, or excuse me, Damien's net worth approaching a billion. Here's Kevin Blanche. I don't have any money. I don't have five cents, and I coined the term. It's unarguable. You know, play back the tape, Your Honor, in the streets of D.C. You know, and by the way, Black Lives Matter has been co-opted. I know that. I know that. But I'm setting the record straight. You know, anonymous, anonymous, anonymous. You know, where do you think Kevin Blanche was in all those days when anonymous? Doing all the work. The cover-up of Fukushima, the death of Aaron Swartz. I was in the courtroom that day right by Donovan's house in Brooklyn. What a fucking performance. I accidentally deleted that last video I did, you know, on, you know, fighting for the cancer victims. Just remember one thing. The cancer victims that all got murdered by the nuclear industry, I was given too much to live. Nine years ago on the bone marrow transplant, LDS. When I'm in the streets, you know, that chant that came out that night, Jail the killer cops! That was invented that day. Remember the remember, the 5th of November. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Playback to tape. What a historic performance. I could have got, I never did get, you know, well, I've been around a lot of famous people. I don't ask them for their hot or grass. I was personal friends with Hot Rod Hundley, really close friends. Still friends with Frank Layden, Donovan, Damian Lillard, really close I was. I don't ask for hot or grass, those guys. I'll say this. You know what somebody said to me the other day? Kevin, it's not going to be long for now. Donovan Mitchell, Damian Lillard. This is Randy Ray, their coach, you know, the old coach. I mean, Randy's boot camp. He says, Kevin, they're going to be asking for an autograph from you. Stay in tune.